making new and meaningful innovation together. Are you ready to note? Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Folks, it's great to have you here with us this morning as we launch the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It is officially time to note. The hashtag that you can use this morning is hashtag Note4KE. Let everyone know where you are, what you're doing, and what you're experiencing. Now, do you ever come across something that you know will immediately change your life? Something that will create a brand new way of thinking and something, something that will in fact part of you in your everyday activities? Well, this is that device, folks. There are four key attributes of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. There are literally thousands more that you will only discover once you begin to use it. Design and by design, well, all you have to do is look at this device. It'll be unveiled and launched in a few moments, don't worry. Multitasking, what does it mean? It means that you can do any number of things with the device, from copy numbers straight from an email into your address book, to changing contracts and MOUs on the go. I call it a phablet. Large screen and S Pen. This screen offers more surface area to write, and the new feel and look of the S Pen means that it feels like you're actually writing on the screen, which we'll also demonstrate to you a bit later on. And you can check it out in the back a bit later on in the program as well. And then, of course, there is the camera. 16 megapixel, a wicked group selfie mode. We'll do a selfie of the whole room in a little while, which I love, and I will show you a bit later on. So what does it all mean without the technical mumbo jumbo? that usually comes with new devices. It means this is a kick-ass workmate, organizer, PA, camera, and life companion. A workhorse. This is the Note 4. After this short video, we'll invite Manoj Changarampa, Samsung IM division guru, to officially unveil the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Samsung Galaxy Note is a tool for the way we live today. Noting your days for your future. Making it more fun and exciting. new and meaningful innovation together. Are you ready to note? Morning. Morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my colleagues, uh, the media, the bloggers, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Samsung Evolution event as we launch the most awaited Samsung Galaxy Note 4 accompanied by Samsung Gearers and Gear Circle. At Samsung, we continue to craft and design lifestyle in the best way possible so we can make our life easier, your life easier, and simple to live through a most innovative and stylish mobile product. We continue to produce flagship products that define our perimeter premier brand of the Galaxy family. The Note series has progressively evolved since its debut in the market in 2011. Samsung Galaxy Note 4 that we are launching today will transform the future of mobility. Samsung Galaxy Note 4 demonstrates the continuing consumer passion for the Samsung fabric evolution and innovation. It's powerful, sleek, and packed with amazing features. The latest evolution 
in the North series meets the changing demands of the modern consumer. In 2011, Samsung boldly invented an entirely new Samsung smartphone concept with the Galaxy Note, igniting the trend towards tablets, that is phone and tablet blend. <coughs> this product had a 1.4 gigahertz dual core Android ginger bed at had 8 megapixel camera, 5.3 inch XVGA HD screen and weighted a mere 178 grams. The term phablet became so widely used after the launch of Galaxy Note that it was included in the Oxford Dictionary Word of the Year in 2012, defined as a merger of phone and, phablet, phone and tablet sorry, to create a smartphone with screen size between 5 and 7 inches. The launch of Samsung Galaxy Note has been unprecedented consumer uptake thanks to the large vivid screen S Pen functionality and the ability to use the device for both walk and play. And since the launch of Galaxy Note 2 in 2012, we incorporated new features and bigger screen to tap into consumer demand for superior portability alongside the ability to create and stay connected. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 boasted an impressive 5.5 inch HD screen, Android Jelly Bean 1.6 GHz processor and an improved battery life. Samsung's Galaxy Note series has consistently innovated to drive the market demand and globally as well as lo locally. Um, the Note 2 with its improved size screen, um, the smartphone features was sold in millions after the launch paving way for the next step in the smart creativity, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Taking up where its predecessors had left off, the Note 3 weighed a mere 168 grams. The full HD screen was an impressive 5.7 inch screen. The camera boasted 13 megapixel and the processor was 2.3 gigahertz quad core. It was powerful, big yet still sleekly designed. One of the features that our customers will really appreciate is the discovery of Samsung S Pen as it maximizes the use usability of the large screen and makes it even easier for the user to access features and the functions on the go. While with the Galaxy Note 3, we saw the arrival of Air Command feature whereby one can execute five major functions through intuitive tabs and movements of the S Pen as well as access to action memo, scrapbook and screen write. Throughout its lifespan, the Galaxy Note series has not only won several awards, but has also received exceptional reviews from leading technology experts including CES, Slashgear, TechRada, Wired and GSM Marina. With an illustrious past, the Galaxy Note 4 has been hotly anticipated launching with a powerful combination of productivity and performance with a 5.7 inch quad HD screen, 16 megapixel camera, Android KitKat, a 2.7 gigahertz quad core processor and an impressive battery life. Of course, Samsung has ensured that Galaxy Note 4 is as compatible with the future as it is with its users by tapping directly into its technology, wearable technology trend. This new phablet is compatible with the soon to be released Galaxy Gear S. Samsung's next generation smartwatch, which extends the features and applications of Note 4 and allows the user even more flexibility and freedom. On the hand, Gear S works with the rich feature set of Galaxy Note and improves the user experience significantly, while recently revealed Gear Circle can receive calls, play music, and issue voice commands to the Note. For instance, checking a notification or receiving a hands-free call on your Galaxy Note 4 is now even easier with Gear S. The complete interactivity with the Gear S and the Gear Circle means that the consumers can receive notifications, download emails, make calls and manage apps all while on the move. Let me also say a few words about Samsung Vision. The underlying principle that defines our vision for the future of Samsung Electronics is inspire the world, create the future. This vision is at the very core of our commitment to lead innovations in technology, 
products and solutions that inspire communities around the world to join our aspiration for creating a better world full of richer digital experiences. As we recognize our responsibility as a creative leader in the global society, we also dedicate our efforts and resources to offering new values to the industry and customers while sh fulfilling shared values of our employees and partners. At Samsung Electronics, we want to create a future that is exciting and promising for all together. As a guide to common understanding and measurable goal, a set of specific objectives is incorporated into our vision. By 2020, we seek to achieve an annual sales of 400 billion while placing Samsung Electronics overall over brand value amongst the global top five. Three key strategic pillars that are now part of our culture, business, operation, and management, describe the governing initiative to this end, creativity, partnership, and great people. We pride ourselves on delivering the world's best products through operational excellence and innovation prowess. As we look forward to exploring new business areas, including healthcare and biotechnology, we are excited for new challenges and opportunities ahead. Samsung Electronics will continue to build on it, top of its current achievements, new capacity and expertise to further its competitiveness and its history of innovation. And today, as uh, historically as it is, we are launching the new Galaxy Note 4, a Gear S and a Gear Circle, and continue our promise to bring the latest innovation into Kenya market and the East African at large. Thank you very much and enjoy the launch. Unpacking new and meaningful innovation together. Are you ready to note? Manoj Changarampat, pleasure to see you again. Yeah. On Here this we are again. Oh, we're, we're always together and I like it. Yeah. Manoj, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Um, so, uh, I wanted to explain, you know, last uh, uh, few years we have been dominating in the Note category. So, our first Note was in 2011, October. Yes. Note 2 was 2012. Yeah. And then Note 3 was 2013. So, over the years, I mean, we've, uh, you know, uh, pioneered, the uh, pioneered the technology for Note. And uh, we have uh, uh, become a leader in, yes. in the note segment per se. Um, but over the years, you know, over, over the last one year, our consumer uh, has also changed. I mean, of course, there's a lot of transition from uh, from the analog world to the digital world. Uh, people are becoming more selfie aware. Um, they are looking for the same same phone to use yes. for for the, for the uh, selfies as well. So I think what you see in Note 4 is uh, the improvements that we have done based on the consumer feedback and what they want actually really. So Note 4 is a device that we have brought in to really meet the you know the new age consumer yes. that uh, we are in, either we are inviting into the Note category or for an upgrade. So that's basically what Note 4 is about. Of course, and there are a number of. Uh, functions that we heard and talked about today, uh, but I think uh, overall, I think it's overall uh, great uh, productivity device. Uh, um, while you know we are not compromising the S not facility, um, which we believe that you know the, the business people will also uh, subscribe for basically. Well, how so big is the market that you are addressing, Manoj? I mean, you know, these are not these are nearly a thousand dollar ticket. Uh, or 70, a little bit less. Yes, that's correct. So, um, in every market, I mean, we segment the market and we study, you know, what, what is the price band existing, uh, who are the consumers, what are the uh, preferences, what are the uh, price band they look for. So, we are uh, go, not increasing the price. So, if, if you looked at uh, Galaxy S5 or Galaxy Note 3, I mean, the price is pretty much the same, 74 triple nine. So, we are addressing again the same segment, but there are some new developments that we are working on. I mean, it's not, uh, uh, it's not official yet, but there's a bank, for example, I mean, they want to um, uh, approaches. I mean, they've approached us, mm -hmm. and we are, you know, in the pro uh, process of uh, signing up a partnership agreement yes. where one could pay this this device into uh, in three installments. I That's mean, not uh, a bad idea. Right? Yeah, and at, at zero percent interest. Yes. So um, it, it's also, I mean, a lot of banks and other consumers mm -hmm. or corporate uh, houses also looking at it as a very good uh, loyalty uh, scheme. 
so um, the, the market hasn't changed much but I, I can say that uh, big, with, with the economic progression of Kenya yes. I mean, we can we, we are seeing more and more people you're, you're moving outward yes yeah. yes so upward like, mobile I mean yeah. that's, that's 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 the new trend in, in, in Kenya and uh, I think the market has slightly expanded uh, over the from 2013 to 2014 plus if you bring in you know very attractive uh, schemes uh, in partnership with banks I, I think we will have a sizable yes. uh, market uh, compared to last year and Manoj, just a couple more questions. You know, of course, I love that selfie. You've got this wide selfie uh, in the camera, right, where you can take a, a big crowd photograph. Yeah. And then the other thing I was I liked is, you know, what what I do is I'm going around a lot, speaking to people. It's it's like a journalist toolkit, isn't it? You've yeah. got all this kind of stuff that you can do in it. Yeah. And what what else do you think? You know, it it seems to me like an office in a in a, in a in a in a smartphone. This galaxy. But you know? but you see now I wanted to change your mind and see wh what about a fashion de fashion designer or yes. a, an architect. Yes. I mean they could use this device as well. Yeah. I mean of course I mean the, most of the the, the the applications and potential users you have covered. But I mean I'm also encouraging you know new yes. new segments yes. to partake in uh, this device uptake. Uh, and the reason why is that because. We have got a new S Pen technology. We've got calligraphy on 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 this now. I um, saw that. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So so I mean we we are also now expanding our target segment to say that hey, okay, you know what about an architect? What about a guy who wants to do calligraphy, write beautiful writing in term, uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, handwriting and then the other part of it is that in, interestingly I mean you could actually use the, the tip of the pen yes and based on the pressure you could actually you know increase the ink or decrease the ink I yes. mean, in the previous uh, versions I mean we have, we have to re literally choose the pen but now the pressure technology on, on yes. the glass is improved and we could we could do magic with, with the pen it's it's more or less like a physical pen now that's why you would find people like Moblang and yes. other people coming on board as well with you. Yes, they, they see that we you know we are pretty much in the same segment as them and yes. then, you know they want to partner with us so they are in the analog world they are in the digital world so I think I think a lot of analog will come into that's an interesting part of how you you've merged those two worlds yeah, right that's because that's the guy was showing something where he took a photograph of some scribbling and he converted it into absolutely, absolutely. that was pretty amazing I yeah think. absolutely and also I mean if someone I mean some, someone like a blogger or some, yeah. someone who's a traveler uh, or travel log writer I mean he's going around in different places I yes. mean he could collect uh, information uh, from the from from the web and put it into one place which is smart select also he can add his own pictures yes so it, you, you, we are we are not we are we are actually saying that you know you don't need a laptop anymore to compile and edit and mm. a document for example so you could do a lot much more than the previous yeah. version so I, th I think that's where it gets interesting the life gets interesting yeah and it really it's empowering the individual I think absolutely I think we are becoming self-centered and yes. you know we, we, we have to realize that you know human beings want to be more empowered more, they want to be more more productive yes. and uh, to carry less number of devices to do multiple functions like I love music and yes. I also love taking photographs but I'm also a businessman so yes. how do you get it to my kind of you know taste so with with a note like this I can you know do multiple things and on top of that I mean I've, I've got this fan uh, well, it's here very now. fancy. Yes, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> so, so now I'm, I'm I'm taking it to my gym, and I can see, you know, yes. how many how many steps I can do for for the biking, you know, for, for really cross training, and it can even. Um, uh, to, to an extent it can even do weightlifting you know the calories measured yeah, etc etc so I mean this this is it this itself is becoming a standalone device so if yes. I'm going for a jog I'm not going to carry my phone I leave everything behind I only carry my yep. you know gear as and go and this gear has also got a uh, micro uh, sim in it so yes. what what it means is that uh, you can even receive calls while you're outside so people say that oh okay you know I mean this could be a little bit bulky when you go for a jogging or an exercise so you could just carry this you know, get your notification, get your SMS, and everything else. So, I mean, we, we, it, it's it's in a whole ecosystem that we are developing. In uh, versus, you know, okay, we are going for the single product marketing. So, uh, it, it will be an interesting uh, space to watch out how we develop this ecosystem. I think it's fantastic. Congratulations, Manoj. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for the thank time. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Robert Ngeru, Vice President, Samsung.
It's a pleasure to catch up with you again on this occasion of the Note 4 launch. Oh, thanks, Alikan. Thanks for coming and actually being here with us no, it's my to pleasure. experience uh, our latest device. It's amazing. I mean, I come here and I get completely mesmerized. I think you were as well. I, I took picked a photo of you. So yeah, true, true. I mean, we are bringing out new technologies, yes. just stepping ahead. Uh, good design, good camera, yeah. better battery life. Those are the key take-homes for Note 4. For me, what I was amazed with was, you know, be doing sort of a lot of writing and blogging and oh, sure, keeping sure. up with the markets. It had sort of fantastic features for that, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, the S Pen is uh, amazing. I, I, that was amazing. Yeah, the S Pen is the next big thing that's happened. And we've also partnered with Mont Blanc, and it can get that. customized pens. And Swarovski. Yeah, yeah. So. Are and you listen. selling those products in the market? Yes. Because that's really ultra-high-end. Yes, they'll be available. And Robert, if I can, you know, my audience tends to be a financial audience, sure. Samsung. How many countries are we now in, subs in under your uh, um, portfolio? I have 16 countries, what yes. we call Eastern Central Africa. Yes. All the way down from Somali, Sudan, Ethiopia, Djibouti, going down Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, including seashells. Yes. And get across uh, DRC, Central African Republic, until Gabon. And, you know, these are markets, the frontier markets, the, you know, investors globally are looking at all of them. What, what, have you, what are you seeing as Samsung? I know wherever I go, you're ubiquitous now. Yeah. Um, but can you give us some flavor? How is Samsung performing? What is the opportunity that you're seeing? Anything on the mobile space as well? Um, luckily, I cut across all products in Samsung, so uh, there's very good insight in, in, in terms of consumer electronics. And there's huge demand when you look at the construction industry that is upcoming. Yes. So in every building, yes. we have something to fit, whether it's yes. a TV, a fridge, a microwave, mm. or whatever it might be, mm. or a tablet or a screen. So that's very, very prospective. And uh, looking at the mobile space, um, in Kenya, we are leading. We are the largest smartphone uh, vendor, yes. uh, partnering with the operators. Yes. That has done us very well. And we have a share of about 60% of the pen in market. Yes, yes. in terms of smart, smart devices. In terms of other countries that you just mentioned, uh, Samsung, has Samsung penetrated those as well? In every country, we are yeah. number one uh, in the smart category. And what sort of revenues would a business like yours be doing in Africa now, just to see, you know? Projections are, uh, by the end of next year, 2015, we have a $2 billion. $2 billion total turnover. Yeah. That's a big number. That's, that's what we're looking at uh, uh, by close of 2015. And you know, everyone talks, Robert, you're in the forefront, you're at the cutting edge, you're at the coalface of this information revolution. You know, I like to tell people 10 years ago, and look where we are now. What do you see happening? Is this, is this got its own momentum? Is it, you know, uh, what, what quirks do you see in the market? Is it global? Is it a global or is it an African market? It's, it's global, it's yeah. global, because when you look at it today, you remember a couple of years ago, or six, seven years ago, mm. 3G was a big thing. Yes. Now 4G is going to be even yes. bigger from next year. So, and with the Internet of Things, when Internet is more available and accessible, mm. then it's really going to change the landscape. It's going to change the device strategy. It's going to change people's utility. Yes. So you'll find more and more PCs going down and tablets becoming the big thing. Yes. And that's why we're coming up with bigger screens for multitasking. Yes. So you can do much more on a, on a device than on your computer. And I mean, here in Africa, I, think, as I read 98% of internet access is through the phone. Absolutely. Right? Is that going to change? It's all going to be about the smartphone. Uh, because of the infrastructure, yes, uh, for, for another couple of years, we'll yes. still depend on, on the smartphone for internet. But once things uh, stabilize and then all this upcoming construction stabilizes, yes. then it will move more towards that direction. But for now, for another couple of years, your smart devices and tablets is your main source of internet. Robert, thank you so much. My pleasure. I'd like to come for a longer interview, Please. Uh, it, it, probably hopefully next week. But thanks so much, and it was so good to catch up. My pleasure. Thanks very much. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Unpacking new and meaningful innovation together. Are you ready to note?